So I'm definitely able to see Andromeda in the live view. It, clearly, the core of the Andromeda galaxy is very visible. And now I'm just gonna use my mount to center the object. And one click, new observation, second click, and we're off to doing a new observation. It's really that simple. And within the next few seconds, I'm going to get my first image of the Andromeda galaxy. And there's my first image, everybody. Pretty cool, you can see it here now on my phone. The Andromeda galaxy's core is the bright spot there, and then you'll start to see the spiral arms of the galaxy forming around this central core. And within 30 seconds, we're already starting to get some of that effect. And within the next few minutes here, we should start to see things like dust lanes and all sorts of features of the Andromeda galaxy that, you know, traditionally astrophotography, you might take a number of hours and get an image that's not significantly better than what you'll see here in just a few minutes. It's incredible. And I'm already starting to see on my phone here the beginnings of the dust lanes. So I wanted to take a quick shot here from the other direction. As you can see behind me, there's the telescope and above the tree line there is the full moon. So we are at probably one of the worst times to do some of this imaging as possible. And yet these are the results that we're getting. I have no filter on the smart eye. It is completely, you know, without a light pollution filter. So the fact that we're getting this kind of imaging simply based on a raw image and the live stacking process and the native processing going on within SmartEye, I'm impressed. I'll let this go a few more minutes and we'll see what the Andromeda Galaxy looks like in about 10 minutes, which is pretty much the same amount of time I would spend on it at any particular outreach event. Okay, so here's an image of about 10 minutes on the Andromeda Galaxy. So as you can see here, we've got the ability to see dust lanes. Uh, the image is not completely showing the entirety of the Andromeda Galaxy due to the focal length of the telescope and the smaller sensor size that we have here on the smart eye. Uh, but the image quality overall is pretty good and I'm fairly happy with the results that I'm seeing.